the Ducks in their third jerseys, their home orange with black numbers. And we are set for the opening faceoff tonight, brought to you by Carson Toyota. Getzloff takes the draw and wins it. Around it comes to the right point, and Drysdale rescues it there for the Ducks. Slides it across. Lindholm wires it, deflected, and batted out of midair. And now the Leafs regroup. Morgan Riley's pass ahead, stripped away from Simmons. Here's Segris, undresses a defender, got a backhander away. Punched out of the air by Campbell, and then deflected just wide. There's that move by Trevor Zegras. T.J. Brody gets him spinning around a little bit. little backhander. Campbell handles that. And Campbell is a little off balance here when this rebound pops straight up into the air. Ultimately a 4-0 Anaheim win over the Senators. Mentioned that shutout for Stola. Brian, does Morgan Riley come off the ice? <laughs> He's going to play a lot. And another player who's quietly having an outstanding season. Oh, good save there by Campbell. Is right down the slot was Henrique, who rifled a quick, hard pass. A bit deeper in that net. It's been very, very good. And the battle ensues. He tries to spot it up the wall, didn't get anything on it. Shattenkirk rifles it ahead to Milano. Joined by Zegris. The trailer is Raquel Zegris. Fires. And it makes its way to Campbell eventually, and he hangs on. But the blue paint or beyond, which tells me that if you're attacking players, boy, you need some traffic off to the side. Finally, Zegris comes away with it ahead for Raquel. Ricard Raquel had trouble with it at the line. Following up, though, it's Milano keeps it in. Fires a save made by Campbell. Stretches it ahead. Zegris tipped it as far as the blue line. Marner took it back. Possible two-on-one for the Leafs. And Gibson steps out to stop Bunting. Comes back in front of Bunting. He was unable to get the pass across. And now the shot by T.J. Brody scores. Boy, the two-on-one was nullified with Austin Matthews, the player they couldn't get the puck to. And then the unlikely goal scorer is T.J. Brody. I don't know if John Gibson was screened. Here's the two-on-one and the good stop by Gibson with the right shoulder. And the puck's going to go back to the point. Matthews is in front of the net. I think he may have got a little tap on that puck. We'll get a good look at, at it from this angle. Yeah, he does. Henrique serves it over off the right board. Shattenkirk rockets it around. Silverberg waits at the hash mark. Backhands it right in front. Is Henrique all alone. Campbell sealed it off. And the rebound cleared away by Brody. Just past the halfway mark of the hockey game at Honda Center. The Leafs with a 1-0 lead. Stretch pass to Marner who sneaks behind the defense. Marner serves it over and Bunting has an empty net and scores. That was execution to a T by the Leafs well, there. It starts with Mitch Marner moving laterally right across the Anaheim blue line and getting just a terrific two-zone pass. It springs him for a two. Look at Marner. Middle of your screen at the bottom. There he zips into the open ice and what a great pass that was. And then Marner returns the favor and just lays it in for Bunting. It's an aerial pass over the stick of Hampus Lindholm, and John Gibson has no chance. Rasmus Sandin, the undersized defenseman, flips it in on the backhand, and it's in behind the Anaheim goal, alone in front. Nylander robbed by Gibson, who flashed the right pad and covers up. What a stop. What a stop. And it was poked over the line well after the whistle had gone. And it's going to be Nick Ritchie that gets in there and gets a couple of pokes at it here, but the referee's whistle had gone. The Blue Jackets have not picked in the top ten only eight times. And, of course, grabbing Sonny Milano in 2014 was one of those eight years they didn't have a top ten pick. Katzloff protects the puck. Looks around now trying to change direction. It's off his stick. Terry ties it up. Henry tries to wrap it around, and Campbell got to the far post in time. That's a big stop. Big stop by Campbell. What a break for him. Here was that wraparound attempt for Adam Henrique. I think Nick Ritchie got his stick in there and prevented it. Yeah. But good, quick move. By Campbell well, he played that one rather precariously as all over him was Sam Steele. Ducks get to a loose puck. Lundestrom, nice pass to Manson. Wires one off the stick of Campbell and out of play. Yeah, I think it's off the shaft of the goal stick of, of Campbell. Manson's going to rip it. Yeah, look at that. Boy. Don't get me wrong. Campbell's been good. But no rebound chances for the Ducks really to speak of. 
in this game tells me that the guys in front of the net are doing a good job. Campbell second in the league already this season with three shutouts, and here's a chance right off the draw, and Kerfoot makes it 3 nothing. The opening faceoff, we're only 13 seconds in. And here's the puck battle along the boards right here, and you can see that Ryan Gesloff tries to throw it into the middle of the ice on the backhand side, but the quick little turnover, and Kerfoot knows what he's doing. And there's Nylander again. Alone in the slot, Wayne Simmons measures it and fires it off the glass and out of play. Yeah, that's a defensive zone breakdown. So they're not picking a puck out of the back of the net. Look how wide open Wayne Simmons is in the middle of the ice. And oh. John Gibson never gets a look at it as Nick Ritchie's kind of blocking out the sun. And he rips it off the crossbar. When you're looking really for anything for the Ducks to generate some momentum, a big penalty kill here would help. Matthews to Nylander on the rush and a stick save made by Gibson. Just under 14 minutes to go in the game. Room for Ricard Raquel. His pass up right wing tipped into the zone neatly by Milano. Into the slot. Back for Raquel. His stick was lifted. Ducks get it back. Zegras with a one-timer kicked aside by Campbell. Campbell makes a pretty routine save. And then Zegras is going to pivot, open up, and say, give me the puck. Gallops up the left boards. Throws it to the net off the blocker of Campbell right back behind the goal. Hall and Lindholm tie one another up. Nylander to the point, kept in. Nifty play by Getzloff, who stick handles his way. Got it to the front of the net. Lindholm scores! Hampus Lindholm in his usual spot right at the top of the goal crease. And to control this puck, get it around Bunting. And then he just kind of forces it into the middle. And some perseverance on the part of Hampus Lindholm. Campbell with the initial save. Lindholm stuffs it home, and the Ducks and the fans here at Honda Center have got some life. Diagonally through the neutral zone. Here comes Hampus Lindholm on the backhand. Flips it. It bounces right to Campbell. In comes Henrique, and he can't get to the loose puck. But the Toronto Netminer never able to cover up. Fowler had his stick lifted there by Matthews. They play on. Marner finds Matthews near a circle. Dusts it off. Gibson makes the save and covers up. He also never gets called for a trip, which he did just seconds ago. Zegris for the Ducks. Storms in on right wing, and he's angled off by Muzzin. Puck goes below the goal line. Anaheim net is empty, and Nylander skates around Getzloff. Now hands it off to Kerfoot, who will walk it to the net, give it to Nylander. He will do the honors, the empty net goal. Reinstilling a three-goal lead for the Leafs with just over three to play. You know they've got the Ducks outnumbered, and uh, boy, look at the, the shift there by Nylander. That was something. His, his skating ability. And Nylander with a goal and an assist tonight is ninth of the season. The three-time 20-goal score, making it 4-1. Gibson back in the Anaheim net as Engvall comes in off the wing. In and out of the glove, and it's Simmons who converts the rebound. Gibson made the initial save, but Wayne Simmons has made a living in this league going to the net. The Ducks just relax. They, they play this really softly. And they end up fishing a puck out of the back of their net. And again, hard lessons, John. These little lapses. Raquel dangles through Sandine. And then he's knocked off the puck. Right as he got. And then it comes to Zegras in the slot. One last shot for Campbell to turn away. And that'll do it. The Maple Leafs roll continues with a 5-1 victory tonight at Honda Center.